That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Yeah, but hold on, hold on. Let me... see more about, uh... Nathan there. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, Daniel. Hola, Mac. You're not here. <sighs> Have you? I. So am I. We should. St I like this revolution. Only if I. Okay. 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 By the way. Oh. Yeah, but that explains. Are you going? It will. That's ex Not with you. Let's talk later. Okay, Dick. Okay, I, I thought I was actually gonna get something different. Uh, oh shit. stole money from the handicapped access fund. <sighs> We're going to hell. Accessibility of the Oh my god. Oh, so that's the car that's where the karma comes in. Fucking shit. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change. You talking shit about me, Brooke? One photo for posterity. Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. You fucking bitch. If you have shit to say, you say it to my face. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Bitch, I'll, I'll deal with you in a minute. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Where is the other squirrel? Hi, baby. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? How the fuck am I supposed to do this? Samuel misses his squirrels. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Oh, please don't put the black woman with the weirdo. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. 
Lots of food. How are you? Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Come here, Bertie. You fat bastards. Come on. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? Get that food in your belly. Time to go clean up the for those kids. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Blackwell is so sad and quiet since Kate... ...isn't here anymore. Yes. And you can tell that the campus is different now. And you reached out to her when everybody turned away. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. Me too. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Oh, damn it. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. You're all right, Samuel, but I'm still side-eyeing you for having that girl's, um, uh, scarf in your little locker there. Where the fuck did it come from? Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I... I think he sees you, Max. For dinner. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Was it me or did it seem in that uh, angle like uh, there was a camera on us talking? Fuck. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max, while time is on your side. Oh, fuck. Well, I need to go to that party, though. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Oh, shit. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting, too. 
Now, a minute ago, you just said turn away, and now you're saying stay on the path. Make up your damn mind. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. Anything else for I definitely have. Oh. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. What? Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide, so... Next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Oh, shit. Am I the person behind all of this? Oh, fuck. You, you know, if, if, if it's not Max, then it maybe it's Nathan, because other than... Everything revolves around Nathan. We might have to take him out. <laughs> With pleasure. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Hello, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Hell oh, yeah. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Okay, so the, the whales are beached uh, in both timelines. Oh god, if I say beyond science, she'll bring up the Native American stuff again. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. True. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to uh, talk about that spiritual shit with her because she's a scientist, so dying animal. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not bringing up the fucking Tabanga, man. That's that, that's that, uh, totem pole. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like the time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. Yes! I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Yeah, good going, Max. Good going. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. 
Do you need to talk to a counselor? 